like I said, it, it, but like I said, it, oh my god. Everybody, it's your girl Jay. Today I am here with some new releases that I have been sent by some publishers that I thought I would share with you guys before I put them away on my shelves. I have seven new releases to share with you from the months of June to August, so without further ado, let us get started. The first one I was sent is Instamom by Chantelle Gruten. This one was released June 29th, so it's been about a month since it's been released, but I think it sounds really cool. It's actually based off of the author's real life love story, which is kind of fun. It follows a social media influencer on Instagram who has been advocating for women who do not want children. And that is when she meets a man, falls in love with him, and he actually has two children. So she is battling whether or not she is going to share that with her followers as she steps into a mother figure role or kind of keep it to herself and keep her big following and it's like the story of that. But like I said, it is based on the author's real life, which I think is a really unique twist. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, so I'm intrigued, I'm excited to read it, and I will probably be picking this up fairly soon. The next book I have is a graphic novel. It is actually the second in the series. I actually finished the first one this month, so I will be talking about it in my July wrap-up if you want to hear my full thoughts, but it is The Okay Witch and the Hungry Shadow by Emma Steinkeller, and I gave the first one a 3 out of 5 stars. This is the continuation, the second book in the series, so I am excited to pick it up. You probably could get away with not have reading the first book if you don't really want to because it gives you like a little recap at the very beginning about what happened in the first book but I believe that the second book is kind of like another story just following these same characters so it's not a big deal if you haven't read the first one. This one released on July 6th so it's already out if you want to check out the first one and then this one or just this one you know now you can. The next one is also a graphic novel it is called Bubble this is by four people but their last names are the only things on it Morris, Morgan, Cliff, and Reese. I think their first names are there but four people wrote this graphic novel. It's based off of a smash hit podcast I'm assuming called Bubble not really 100% sure. And I also believe that this is an adult graphic novel. It follows a girl named Morgan who lives in the city of Fairhaven, which is like a bubble of safety. If you step outside of this bubble, then there are things called imps, which I believe are just a form of monster. She kills imps and brings them to her roommate where they turn the imps into drugs and then they sell the drugs. An app called Hunter is launched where you can get paid for hunting these imps. So I guess this app Hunter is making her be able to kill imps and get like a side hustle job kind of situation going on. It says it's a timely satire but not what timely satire usually means aka boring. I'm excited about it because it is blurbed by Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning on YouTube which I love so much so I just feel like it's going to be a really good time solely based off of that. It also came with an art print which I'm guessing this is the bubble, the town of Fairhaven in that bubble. And I guess those little things right there are the imps. They kind of look like lizards so I'm not really sure how they're scary but I guess maybe they like attack when they see you. I don't know. This was also released July 13th, 2021, so it's already out and available in the world. If you want to check it out, I would, solely based off of Rhett and Link's recommendation. So, I don't know if it's any good, but I trust their opinion. The next one is The Therapist by B.A. Paris. I love B.A. Paris. I think they are one of my favorite thriller writers that I've read from so far. So when this showed up at my door, I was super duper excited. This was released July 13th and it follows a woman who moves into a neighborhood. She is very curious about the therapist who used to live in the house that she lives in now. And so she asks a bunch of her neighbors about what happened to her but they refuse to talk about it so she becomes like obsessed with figuring out what happened and it's like the story of that. So intrigued. I recently read Behind Closed Doors by this author and absolutely loved it. I also read The Breakdown and it was like a 3.5 for me. Behind Closed Doors was a 4.5 for me so I'm hoping that maybe this will hit the 5 out of 5 mark. It also came with four coasters that just say the author's other books 
The only one I haven't read is Bring Me Back, but I've read the other two, which I really liked. And then it also came with a little chalkboard marker and chalkboard writing thing so that you can write your grocery list, it said, but I will be using this at my job because I'm an ECE. So we have to write like provocations, which is like an invitation to play for the children. They can't read yet because they're toddlers and preschoolers, but now, I don't have to write it on paper anymore. I have a cool nifty chalkboard pen. So this actually came in handy and at like the perfect time because I'm going into placement starting today, actually. So by the time you see this video today, it's actually technically the day before, but it's going up on the 26th of July. So I'm at placement right now. So wish me luck down in the comments because I'm terrified. Next, I have My Heart is a Chainsaw. This is by Stefan Graham Jones. This is coming out August 31st. 2021 so this is the only one that has not been released yet but this follows a girl named Jade who is indigenous she lives in the community tourists begin going missing and she decides that she is going to figure out what is happening it says that she is 17 year old half Indian outcast she sees recent events that only her encyclopedic knowledge of horror films could have prepared her for I love serial killer books I'm assuming multiple tourists are going missing it's not just one tourist so serial killer I'm into it I'm excited but yeah you guys can pick this up August 3rd first and let me know what you think of it because I probably will not get to it by then since like I said I'm going into placement starting tomorrow today and um it's until August 20th so probably no reading will be done in the month of August except for the last week and then the two final books that I was sent are part of a series the first is the Goblin Empire the second is the witness for the dead these are both by Catherine Addison this first one was released in 2019 and then this one was just released this year on June 22nd so they sent me both of them so that I can read and review both of them because you can't read the second book in a series before you read the first book so got both of them but this is a very beloved book in like the fantasy world apparently it has won a lot of awards so I'm very intrigued but it basically follows a goblin who was exiled from the kingdom he is a son of the king and then his two brothers and the king are all killed mysteriously and he becomes the rightful heir to the throne so he returns and has like no schooling on how to be a king blah 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 I guess an emperor or not a king but shenanigans ensue and then I'm assuming the second book is just a follow-up of the first book but I think it's gonna be really good since it has won so many awards so I'm definitely intrigued very excited to pick this up if anybody has read this book please let me know how it is since it was released in 2019 I'm sure somebody has picked it up since then so let me know down below what you thought of it. Alright everybody, so those were some recently released books that I have been sent. I'm very excited to pick them all up. Thank you so much to the publishers who reached out and sent them all to me. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!